pre-statistics, residual analysis, lesson objective, compute the residuals for a data set. The key concept of this course is to use functions, and that would be linear, quadratic, and exponential, to model real data. These regression equations are created using technology by the use of the graphing calculator. Once the equation is computed, it is important to stop and ask a few questions. How good is this model? What are the limitations of this model? Is there a better model? Thus, following any modeling procedure, it is a good idea to assess the validity of the model. For this class, we will use three statistical concepts to verify the regression model. The scatter plot, which gives visual evidence, the value of R square, which gives numerical evidence, and if you recall, R square is a number between 0 and 1, usually is expressed as a percent, 0% to 100%, the closer to 100%, the better the model and what is called the residual analysis and that's using residual plots to assess the appropriateness of the model by examining the pattern of the residuals. These concepts give both visual and numerical evidence about the regression model and all three can be graphed or computed with the use of the graphing calculator. Less objective We'll begin with the definition of the residual. A residual is defined as the difference between the observed, or sometimes known as the actual, value of the dependent variable and the predicted, or the expected, value which comes from the model. If the residual is positive, then the model underestimated the y value. If negative, then the model overestimated the y value. If a residual is zero, the model perfectly predicted the y value. Computing a residual by hand, we use the formula residual is the observed y value minus the predicted y value. So this will be a y value from one of the data points and this will come from the regression line. So it's the difference between the observed and the predicted. And if we think about this in alphabetical order, O comes before P. So O observed minus P predicted. When a regression command is used on the graph and calculator, a list of all the residuals are computed and stored in a list called RESID that's short for residual. This list is found by using the list command which is second and then stat. And when you hit second and stat the last list that you can see is this res residual list. Let's do an example. Example 1. The life expectancies of Americans are shown in table 29 for various years. Let L be the life expectancy in years at birth T years since 1980. The linear regression equation for this data set is L of T equals 0 0.16 times T plus 73.71. USA Today and 2014 estimated that life expectancy in the US hit a record high at the time. So according to USA Today, the life expectancy was 78.8 years for Americans born in the year 2012. Compute the residual for the year 2012. Did the model under or over estimate? Solution? For the year 2012, T equals 32. So we have our independent value, 32, and we have the observed y value of 78.8. So when t is 32, the y value is 78.8. So now we need to figure out what is the predicted 
y value for t equals 32. So to find the predicted y value, we use the regression equation. We substitute 32 in for t, and we get 78.83. That is the predicted y value when t is 32. So the residual would be the observed 78.8 .8 minus the predicted 78.83 and we get a negative 0 0.03. The model did a very good job of estimating the life expectancy for this year. Because it is negative, the model overestimated by 0 0.03 years. Example 2. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, the life expectancy was 78.9 years for Americans born in 2015. Compute the residual for the year 2015. Did the model over or underestimate? Solution? Again, in this case T is 35. We have the actual or the observed y value is 78.9 so we're going to subtract this number from our predicted y value when t is 35. Now we substitute 35 in for t, we multiply and then we add 73.71 and we get 79.31. Now what this means is the model is predicting the age when t is 35 is 79.31. So the residual would be the actual or the observed y value 78.9 minus the predicted 79.31 and we get a negative 0.41. Because it is negative this is a overestimate this number is bigger than this number. Therefore the model overestimated. The smaller the residual, the better the estimate. So example one had a better estimate than example number two. Thanks for watching.